Welcome to the recap of IIHF E-World Championship. Let's see what country is the best at playing NHL 23. Every country in this tournament has two players representing them, one on each console. I was representing Team Finland uh, with Yes L 2002. I qualified on Xbox, Yes L qualified on PlayStation. The winner of this tournament gets 8000 euros, 4000 for each player. Let's start off straight away with the group stage. Here's our group. We're in the group with Latvia, Denmark, Ukraine and Italy. Two go through. Latvia and Denmark. Mark on paper are our toughest opponents. They have some decent players, but obviously we are huge favorite in this group. I was actually representing Finland in both of the prior two years Finland won it. So this is my third time I can win this trophy. So in the group stage, we both played our console representative from the other country. One time, let's start off with my game against Italy. It was actually tougher than I expected. Um, we had the puck control most of the time, but I couldn't really create good scoring opportunities and the game ended up being uh, yeah, somewhat close. Something to note here, in the group stage we could play with whatever team from the official world championship team, so everybody's play basically playing with Canada, because it is the best team. But yeah, I ended up winning my first game against Italy, 3-0. Yeah, a decent game. Um, yes, he won his game as well. Much more convincingly, so yeah, we were off to a good start. Let's only follow our games in the group stage. Game 2 was against Denmark and Vibholm. Uh, the toughest opponent on paper for me in this group stage. He was top 4 on Xbox last year in NHL's World Championships. He's a very decent player, but this was one of my best games throughout the whole tournament. I had the whole game under control. Ended up winning 4-0. Didn't really even allow any scoring chances. And uh, yeah, two first games I've played, I have allowed zero goals. Game three against Latvia, yes, he ended up winning his opponent. Again, very convincingly, so we were 4-0 during the group and pretty much not confirmed to go through, but it's looking good. Game number three against Latvia and Raujis. Latvia in the last year's tournament actually finished in the semi-finals. Very similar story continued. I'm playing absolutely great defense, like I'm not allowing any goals. Which is weird if I think about my gameplay this year in general. But yeah, against Rauis and Latvia, I ended up winning 3-0 again. Every every game has been super similar. I have most of the puck possession. I score the goals I need to. It's looking good, but at the same time, I'm not scoring as much as I maybe want me to, which was kind of bothering me. But yeah, we're getting the wins, so that's the most important. Yes, is dominating as well. He won uh, Latvia's player as well, and uh, yeah, we're 6-0. and Our final matchup against Ukraine, and Ukraine was actually in a situation where if they could get some points of us, they would go through in the group. And look at my first goal allowed in the tournament. Right off the, off the gate, Spinorama short side. I'm not expecting moves like that at all. I don't know my opponent, I don't know any players from Ukraine, but... Dude, uh, I really need to sweat here. Again, my offense is not maybe as good as I, I want it to be. And especially now when I didn't get the f first goal of the game. And heading into the third period, it's actually 1-1, but luckily straight in the third period, I get it 2-1. Yeah, I'm kind of hanging on here. Towards the end, Ukraine Hazy Key is creating, creating a lot of scoring opportunities, but I just and just managed to survive. As you see by my face, there I'm not happy with how I played, especially during that final game. But we we were through to the playoff stage. Here's the group standings. We won all of our games, and uh, there it was a very tight battle for the second seed, but Latvia ended up getting it. Let's jump to the quarterfinals against Germany. They were uh, number two in Group C. A group Czechia ended up winning. But yeah, the playoff format in this tournament is a bit it's a bit different and very interesting actually. Both the PlayStation player and Xbox player play their console representative two times. And the total goal difference from all of the games, all of the four games determines the winner. It doesn't matter how many games you win or lose, it it only matters how many goals you score and allow. Also, you can use a certain team only one time. Uh, throughout the entire playoffs. So for example against Germany, we had to use the USA because we, obviously we don't want to use the best teams yet. 
And yeah, Germany is playing with Canada, so they kind of have the team advantage here, which kind of makes it even more difficult. But I started off against Germany. Uh, we're leading here 3-1. Game 1 against Germany was very solid for me. Uh, I felt like I played a bit better offensively than I maybe might have in the, in the group stage. Defensively, I didn't feel as confident, but I still got a great result. Of our first game, we are ended up winning game 1 6-2. After game 1, we have the 4 goal advantage with me winning 6-2. And the schedule was a bit different in round 1. Um, actually, we played 2 games in a row on Xbox in the, all the other series we split the games. But yeah, first series we played 2 in a row. Of course, I was feeling very confident. Dude, I, I won the first game by 4 goals with the worst team. Uh, I didn't really feel like I had that much troubles and I ended up scoring first in the second game as well and uh, things are looking good but here's where it starts the turning downhill for me I'm not really even sure what happened uh, maybe I lacked focus a bit being up 5 uh, or, or something or then I just played bad I scored 2-1 here in the second period but oh my god I kind of want to close my monitor right now Kevin ties it up 2-2 in the start of third period Scores 3-2 with 8 minutes remaining. Then I throw it throw it to him with my goalie. Kinda throw kinda shows that I wasn't maybe in the right place mentally here. After my games, it's only 8-6 for us heading into Yes's games. Obviously, we still have the lead and it's up to Yes's hands now, but it was still very frustrating for me not, not giving a better position um, for Yes. Cause dude, <laughs> I could have easily won that series by five or six goals. Or something like that, if I just played my game, played similar to game one, didn't even throw it out with the goalie. Y you can never know what happens in these tournaments, like, his first time playing in this tournament, we are the favorite, he really has to succeed, but that's what he did. And, uh, <laughs> luckily, thank you, yes. Then to the semi-finals against USA, and you don't want to miss this, this was the most insane... NHL series I've ever been a part of. <laughs> Ja se on kyllä sellainen, sellainen kuoppa, että sitä ei, sitä ei edes sekin tommempaa kyllä täytä. So USA, we won them last year in the finals with one goal. So, <laughs> obviously a tough matchup. Uh, one thing to note here, we are playing with like 150 ping against each other, obviously, cross continent. USA is starting it off now against Dots. First of all, USA made a very weird team choice. In game, we thought USA is the third best team, uh, Czechia second best team, and Canada uh, Canada is the best, obviously, and Sweden is the fourth best, but uh, yeah, USA actually ended up taking Sweden, which ended up being a pretty smart move. They have a great goalie and great defense, which uh, with the high ping ended up playing against Sweden, didn't end up uh, feeling so nice. Like, Czechia has a way better offense, but maybe the defense and goal lacks a bit. I felt like they had a team advantage here with, with the high ping. But yeah, Jesse ended up losing his first game 5-3. I'm in a tough position against Kuki. We have to perform here. Win would be very nice. Get it tighter for the second round of games. But Kuki scores first with a nice goal. Uh, this was actually my first time playing against Top Chef Kuki. If you don't know him, he won the official NHL World Championships in NHL 19. I won it in 18. So we are the only two official NHL World Champions in the World Championship NHL organizers. So yeah, this was my first time playing him. And uh, it was very interesting. It was kind of a bright thing for me as well to win this. But <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not playing great. My defense from the other games is not the same. At Kuki scores 4-1, my goal is not making a save either. I, I'm not playing good at all. Um, I, we really need to bounce back here. We're down five goals on aggregate. I get it to 4-2. I just ended up not playing as well as I, I maybe hoped for. Yeah, Kuki scores 5-2. I'm really, really frustrated that I can't... I feel like I can't get the most out of myself right now. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of making our situation pretty terrible. 6-2 for Kuki. Oh my god. Kuki's hyping himself up. <laughs> as is, dude. Important goal here. I ended up getting uh, getting a goal to make it 6-3. At least make the numbers of numbers of game 2 somewhat respectable. And we are down 5 goals heading into the last round of matches. Jesse has a big task to do here. Trying to get the score closer. He scores first, but Dot scores right after. And yes, ends up losing his game after a tight battle, five three, which means 
I have to win our last game by seven goals to at least tie the aggregate score. In the final game, I just went balls to the wall. I, I thought <laughs> I thought I'll play all out attack. Uh, I'll throw pucks at the net from everywhere. I played full attack, full forward check, full everything. Put maximum amount of pressure on Cookie. Scoring, scoring first at the beginning would like is very important, and I end up doing so. Pretty soon after, I score a second goal, and it's like I'm really feeling myself here. I got two goals right away. I know I'm capable of winning any player in the world with high scores if I get it going early, if I don't do mistakes, if I put pressure on my opponent. I end up scoring third goal, a third goal in the first period, and then Kuki throws it out to me. I end up scoring a fourth one, and here's where I feel like this is actually, actually possible. It's only a three goal game with two periods remaining. I probably never felt this good <laughs> good before like or hyped before playing NHL. I was totally in the zone, especially after I got a couple goals. Heading into the second period, Kuki throws it out with the goalie again. He's making some mistakes and it's 5-0. And yeah, I'm just continuing to attack the net every time and uh, <laughs> hope for the best. I have some luck here as well. I score from Score for Pasternak from be below the goal line. I, I feel like everything is going my way this game. And it's only a one goal difference in the aggregate. But I end up throwing the puck out to him as well. What is going on? We're playing for a national world championship. And we both are giving free goals with the goalie. Got to say from my perspective. Um, I just want... I, I, I was just feeling so hyped. So confident. I just wanted to, you know, keep the puck in play. And keep the, keep the pressure on. In the final period though, Kuki throws it out to me again! Again! And it's, it's only a one goal game and I score right after! Come on! Look, listen to the commentators. Oh, got to love the Finnish commentators' reactions. Oh my god. And... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, okay. But yeah, uh, this last ten minutes was kind of a struggle for me. I, I took it on a breakaway. I take it with a manual goalie. But yeah, this was tough for me because, I, like I said, I played full attack, full forward check, full everything. I didn't want to change it because it was working so good. That would be the worst thing I could do to start being passive now. I was passive game one, Cook scored six goals, so I'm not doing that. This was the best NHL game I've ever played. <laughs> Dude, it, it was absolutely insane. I needed seven goals to tie it up against the former world champion of the game. I won by eight. If and when uh, the time comes when I quit competitive gaming, this is for sure one of the games. Uh, I will think back on this is probably a game I'm the most proud of. Uh, if you want to check this this entire game, I actually made a separate video uh, showing you the entire game. I can link it for you guys in the description of the video. Uh, we are on the final against Canada. And big thing to note here. Canada used Team Canada in the semifinals and they had to use... Czech Republic, or they used Czech Republic in the final, which meant we had a huge team advantage in the final. I don't know what the essay is on. Game one, he wins by nine goals. Nine goals. I could, sorry, not even nine. I, I forgot how this turned. Eleven goals. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine game one of game one of national finals. He won championship finals. I, I don't know what to say. We're up 11 goals. I'm playing Rex. Probably the best player in the world right now. I will be honest. Especially this year. Me personally, I don't feel like the best player in the world right now. Because I, I don't feel like I've, I've played played like it. But anyways. Um, yeah, Rex scores first. I really want to win this matchup. Obviously, it's a huge pride on, on a line. Uh, Rex is known as the best North American player. And I'm known as the best European player, so especially with my team advantage. I really want to get the win, but Rex is leading by two, and uh, I'm actually really struggling here. I think Rex is playing pretty insane. I I don't even feel like I'm playing that different to my level right now, but I'm just I'm just losing straight up. Here I get a goal disallowed. It doesn't help my momentum. At the end of the second period. We got it going though. We created a couple nice plays. 
on offense. And uh, yeah, I got two huge goals at the end of the second period. And it's only a one goal game. And start of the third period, I end up scoring a nice lap shot. And it's a tie game. Feeling super good here. Uh, we actually made the comeback after feeling like we had no chance at the start of this game. Final minute though, Rex coming in and uh, scoring a nice goal. That was a really nice goal. But <laughs> I get it right back. Got to say I was a bit lucky there, but I'll take it. Final rush. Oi! <laughs> We end up winning our game one against Rex. I don't know if I really deserve that, to be honest, but... At the time of this recording, I was playing four lines crash the net. So my game style kind of favored bounces like that. Like, I had so many guys attacking the net at all times, even if I lost the puck attacking towards the middle or if I threw a rebound. Yes, the second game against Cat Cooks. And, uh... Yeah, again, I, I don't know what to say. It was very similar for Jesse than his. <laughs> that his game one was. I remember he won this game by a lot. I don't even remember for how much. Got to say, yes, it was absolutely ridiculous throughout this entire tournament. O only time he struggled a bit was the semi-final. But uh, yeah, it's okay. We still ended up going through. But heading into my final game against Rex, we are up by 16 goals on aggregate. So yeah, we basically won this tournament at this stage already. My only goal now is to just win Rex uh, more convincingly than I did, because I, I wasn't really happy with the game one win. With a couple bounces, I thought. And Rex had most of the possession on that game, so I just wanted to be... I just wanted to play a better game. Yeah, I got to say, Rex was pretty... Rex was pretty ridiculous throughout both of these games. He was... Like I said in the interview, he's probably the best player I've ever played. Uh, even even on high ping, yeah, just playing him is very tough. At the end of the day, ping is the same for both players. It's a one goal game in the third period, but uh, yeah. Rex scores 4-2, he scores 5-2 right after, and I actually end up losing this last game 6-2. And uh, I was actually very frustrated here, as you see by my face. I didn't... Obviously, I knew we won the tournament, but I wanted to put a better showing. Wasn't really happy about the way I performed. But yeah, who cares? We won the IIHF Evil Championship. Thank you, Jesse, for being an amazing teammate. Made it so easy for me throughout this entire tournament. Especially in the finals. Like, man, I just had to show up. <laughs> I just had to show up and play. First big tournament win of the year for me. Of course, fits my confidence very nicely. But at, at the same time, I'm not at the level I want to be. There's Finnish Championships and NHL's World Championships still ready to be played. Uh, NHL's World Championships, obviously the biggest tournament of the year. There's 50k on the line for a World Championship. But yeah, good tournament win to continue on for uh, future tournaments. And yeah, everybody, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.